I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the overcup oak. Overcup oak, Quercus lorata, is a deciduous tree of the white oak group and a member of the Fagaceae or oak family. It's also called swamp post oak, swamp white oak, and water white oak, and it looks a lot like white post burr and swamp chestnut oaks. Overcup oak gets its name for the burr-like acorn cap that covers almost all of the acorn, as you can see in the photo. This oak is a medium to large tree that grows 60 to 90 feet tall and about 24 to 30 inches in diameter. Overcup oak generally has a poor form, which impacts the quality of its lumber. But as with other oaks, it is an important tree for wildlife, including many moth and butterfly species. Overcup oak is a tree of the south, as you can see from its range map. Its range is from the coastal plain in southern Virginia, south to northern Florida, and then west into Texas, and north into southern Illinois, all along the Mississippi River Valley. It can be found in western portions of Kentucky. An overcup oak occurs on wet soils in floodplains and bottomlands, and it is classed as intermediate in shade tolerance. The leaves are deciduous, simple in form, and alternately arranged on the twig. It's kind of hard to see in the photo, but they are alternately arranged. The leaf is oblong in shape and about 6 to 10 inches long, with 5 to 9, usually 5 to 9 lobes that have irregular sinuses between the lobes. Those are those indentations. The underside of the leaf is white and somewhat pubescent or furry. And fall leaf color is variable, ranging from yellows to russet browns. This species is monoecious, meaning that a tree has both male and female flowers. The male flowers are naked catkins that are about two to four inches long, and that's what you see in both the photos. The female flowers are very small and they're reddish and they're in little spikes in the axils of the newly forming leaves. The flowers appear with the leaves from April to May, depending on location, and the flowers are wind pollinated. The fruit is an acorn that's typically one and a half to one inch long and round. The acorn is almost entirely covered by a scaly cap that lacks fringe, as you can see in the photo. The acorns ripen in one growing season, usually between September and October, and fall soon after ripening. Overcup oak generally begins acorn production around 25 to 30 years of age, and it has good seed crops every three to four years. The acorns are disseminated by water, usually by water, and occasionally by wildlife. Overcup oak bark resembles white oak bark. It's kind of gray-brown in color with irregular plates or ridges, and it's often scaly, especially along the branches, as you can see in the one photo. The wood of overcup oak is light to medium brown and has medium to large pores. It is ring porous like other oaks, and it has with solitary early wood pores. Those are the, form, the ones that are formed in the early part of the growing season. Those are the large pores. And numerous small to very small late wood pores, those that are formed later in the growing season. Tyloses, which is a balloon-like swelling of parenchyma cells in the xylem or the water conduction vessels, is abundant, as it is with other white oaks, and the growth rings are distinct. The wood is generally of low quality when compared to other white oaks, but it is used for lumber, cooperage, cabinetry, and flooring. Overcup oak, like other oaks, is an important wildlife tree. The acorns provide food for squirrels, deer, wild turkey, and some ducks. And oaks in general support a wide variety of lepidopteran larvae, including imperial moth and hair streak butterfly and dusky wing butterfly. The trees also provide habitat, and the foliage of the trees also provides cover later into the fall and winter, as many oaks tend to drop their leaves later in the growing season. The Kentucky Champion Overcup Oak, as of 2022, is in Livingston County. It's 245 inches in circumference, 94 and a half feet tall, with a 101 foot crown spread. If you'd like to learn more about our champion trees in Kentucky, check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about overcup oak. The common name of overcup comes from the fact that the acorn cap or cup covers nearly all of the acorn and that you can see that great in the photo. 
Overcup oak acorns also have a unique spongy shell that renders them buoyant, which is important for their dissemination after those acorns drop. Overcup oak hybridizes with many other oaks in the white oak subgenus, including white oak, Quercus alba, swamp white oak, burr oak, swamp chestnut oak, and post oak, and it is most genetically similar to post oak. The genus name Quercus is from Latin and it is the common name for the oak. And the specific epithet Lirata is from the Greek lyre or lyre or lute, referring to the shape of the leaf. Overcup oak, Quercus Lirata. 